So it was a really hot summer day, and I was teaching adaptations of the body to different types of exercise. And my students looked to me and looked outside and said, boy, it's a really nice day. Couldn't we go and experiment outside? And uh, we did a little bit of preparation in the room. We went outside. We did some swimming, some running, some hiking, and looked at all the data from that. And I think what was really special was that the students were able to see that they could bring a whole lot in from where they are in their environment uh, into the classroom. And the teaching and the learning that came from that was really incredible. What I really like about this school is that every teacher really cares about the individual student and gives him or her the attention that they need and deserve. And this creates this very special atmosphere within the school. As a parent of two boys at St Gilgan International School, I am constantly amazed by the opportunities that are made available for them at this school. Currently, my 11-year-old boy is training as part of the Seven Summits Expedition Team. Despite his age, he is being included in all activities and all training in the hope that he will summit Mont Blanc next summer. So when I joined the school six years ago, my English was very bad, I was very terrible. And with the help of the boarding community and staff and students and teachers especially, my English improved dramatically in the first year. And in about a year, I'm going to write all of my exams purely in English and I'm very excited about that. Every time I teach yoga here in this beautiful and awe-inspiring setting, I'm given the opportunity to create with students the framework for them to move to their edge whilst in a yoga pose, to be able to push their boundaries with confidence and commitment and to be able to connect in the present moment with their body, mind and soul. It's midnight, it's the longest day of the year. We've been out riding mountain bikes for four hours now. None of the girls have done anything like this. There are 15 of them with me in a group and the rain has stopped. The night's gotten cold, the sky's clear just our headlights and the stars. And when we get back to school, it's one o'clock in the morning. The village is silent. They let themselves into the boarding house. And the next morning they say to me, that was so cool. Can we do that again? And that's the kick that I get out of sharing my passion with young people who can grow and do something fantastic with their lives. But I feel like I've had a tiny little piece of helping them go where they're going to go.